Good afternoon everyone, it's your girl Annie. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. If you are new here in thrifting and Halloween content is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because I really think you're gonna like it here, especially during spooky season, which is now and always, right? Of course. Today we are going Halloween decor hunting in a little place that I'm going to name Spooky Central Plaza because in this plaza, guys, 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 oh, it's such a good one. Okay, we've got TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, Five Below, Ross, Joann's, and guys, even better, in the same plaza as all of these. Oh, there's also Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack's in there too. On top of all of these seven stores, it's also where they put the Spirit Halloween. Ooh. So it is now titled Spooky Central Plaza. So we're going there in today's video. However, let's not get too excited and too ahead of ourselves. We are only going to hit up three of the stores. We're going to go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Joann. Because we've already been to the Home Goods in my last Halloween decor hunting video. And not to say that we're done with Home Goods, but we're done with Home Goods for now. We want to go to the other stores. So we're going to go to those three TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Joann's. And we are going to pop over across the street and check Michael's. Hint, hint, wink, wink. I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to go pop right on into the stores and check out all the spooky goodies. So this is the plaza that we're working with today. We got Marshalls over there, Joann's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Ross. So we're gonna be hitting up all of these stores today. Let's go find the spooky goodies. We are starting in TJ Maxx. This little kitten cup was like $6, I think it said. And then this is new to me, this little like Frankenstein mug. So cute, also $5. And Jack Skellington with the little topper was 13. You have these little tabletop like sayings. This one was, I believe, seven dollars. And then this was definitely new to me. I decorate with a lot of like vessels that have this like creamy, like crackled look like that. So I was like, ooh, this pumpkin would fit right in. It was $10, which was not bad. And I like his little smile. I think it's cute. And I loved this pillow. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, y'all. We just left TJ Maxx. Now we're cruising to Joann's. If you know, you know. And I have a little story to tell y'all. So that'll be at the end. But let's go see what spooky goodies are waiting for us in Joann's. Alright, let's see. Do they have Halloween? the Halloween. We have found the Halloween. So we're starting off with these skeletons. They're like a metallic iridescent, I never know the word, but we got a flamingo and a real skeleton, or well, you know what I mean. But also, their Halloween stuff is already 40% off. But even with that discount, this plastic skeleton is just totally not worth it. $130, are you kidding me? Joann's, what's happening? Loved this skull, but this one, I think it's like 60 or $70. That's crazy. That's so expensive. This is similar to what we just saw at TJ Maxx, but better. It lights up and it is $40. They do not have a ton. So this is just the beginning 
of this Joann's putting out their Halloween. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we will see more in all the different collections. But of course, I'm showing you what they have thus far. And this is a new code orange for that. And this is a new code orange for us. So very exciting. These are my absolute favorite. I really contemplated on if I should get some, but $70 and 30, or excuse me, 40% off is still just a little too expensive for me, but I love them. So this wreath would fit right on in with those spooky trees. Very cute. And we do have some Halloween florals, but I will say just go to Michael's or even Joann's, get their spring summer line that's probably now, you know, like 75% off and just spray paint it black. You know, do shortcut, save a little bit of money. This bat wreath holder, could not find a price on it. It rivals the one that Michael has. It's probably around $10 or so. Okay, moving on to Marshall's. They had a couple of displays out, so not too much, but it's happening. Trying to find a price on the ghosties, $10. And then we're just gonna do a little panning shot of what's on the display here. We've got some spooky mugs. This pumpkin thing. Some really cute candles at Marshall's. This one was only $10. Don't remember if it smelled good or not. Like, look at these. Wheel of Destiny, the topper, so cute. Have a Yankee Candle dupe for only $13. This big old pirate skeleton head. These little ghosties, absolutely adorable. They're $6 a piece. We've got wiener dogs and witch hats. That's cute. These Moscow mule mugs with a little jack-o'-lantern face were $13 for the pair. Super, super cute, even for all year round. And this is probably the cutest figurine that I have seen. She's beautiful for only $15. Like the details, so cute. We've got the infamous ghosty pillows here. We have a bigger one, and I haven't seen the smaller one, I don't think. So here's, oops, I'm gonna prop them back up here in a second. So here's like the size comparison. I like the bigger one better, but you know, they're all cute. And then we have that almost like Candyland-esque pillow where it's got like all the different locations. It's so cute. Okay, we're moving on over to Dollar Tree, and guys, they had their spooky things out, so another new Code Orange. A lot of things from last year, such as these like skull little vase fillers, the bats, but we do have some new things, and I have found them. Look at these little bottles. They are absolutely adorable. There are three different sizes, so keep an eye out.
These foam roses are new to me this year. Just really cute for little arts and crafts purposes. And they do have some like Michael's dupes here. My mom was just pointing them out. They have those like striped pumpkins and those little candy corns. So if you need, you know, a lot of them, pop on over to Dollar Tree rather than spending like three or four dollars per pick at Michael's. Here's a closer look of them. Okay, and I absolutely love these. I have no idea what I'm gonna use them for, but I got them. <laughs> Spoiler alert, uh, I just thought the artwork and just the different designs were super cute. So they had the more like haunted house one, which is the first one, this one that's more vintagey, and then this one that's like, you know, more traditional with the ghosty and jack o' lantern, spooky house, all that kind of stuff. Next up is Michael's. I called and they said they had some decor, so we're gonna go see. Okay guys, this is a huge code orange for us. I have been so excited to see the Michaels collections come out and here is the first sighting for me and I am so, so, so excited. Okay, so we're jumping right on it. So this is the Naturally Scary collection at Michaels. It's the one I am the most excited about and let's just take in all the goodness. It's, <sighs> Michaels just, they really get it. Me and my mom were sitting here talking about these little containers. They are absolutely precious, but we're thinking we can like DIY these. So that's why we're kind of lingering here on these little canisters. These velvet pumpkins, oh my gosh, so, so nice. I wanna say they're $25. I'm so sorry, the, these, I need to hold on the prices longer, but I wanna say they were 25 bucks. And then this guy was amazing for 20 with the skeleton with the snake wrapped around him. We've got ravens, we've got bugs, we've got skulls, it's just amazing. And don't forget, Michaels always has a 20% off coupon. And when you see sprinklings of things like this out in stores, if you see something that you want, grab it. Use the coupon, just get it. If it's something that you like really, really, really want, because these things will go quickly. And if you have not seen my Home Goods Halloween haul, I do mention that I'm on the hunt for the Edgar Allan Poe bust. It's so when I saw this line out, I got very excited and he was not there, unfortunately. So my hunt continues, but I am just still excited to see all of the spooky goodies out at Michael's. I don't know why I've shown this planter like four times, I'm sorry, but here it is again. <laughs> I was very excited. But I also almost missed this sign, so I'm glad that I went over it again because I have been on the hunt for it. I missed out on last year, so I'm glad to see it this year. 
and now we are moving on to this is the dark romance line they only had this one and the naturally scary out they did not have the like more vintagey i think it's called the hey boo collection or something like that um so we're taking a look at just what they've got out i loved this like rib bust situation going on i thought it was really pretty be a really good diy because i'm not into the pinks for halloween but this one this is kind of funny this like crow with some pearls on like she's she's all done up that was 35 dollars and these skulls with like the roses on top like the velvet oh my god they are so pretty super cute for like a halloween situation adorable This collection they only had like these two or three things from this like vintage collection so still waiting on that <laughs> this is hilarious skeleton on the toilet We're just taking another look. I'm all over the place because I was just so excited to see the things. But they have these like really cool hands with like the painted fingernails. You've got little trinket boxes and more skulls, more birds with accessories. It's just great. So this is the like wreath and pick aisle. We see the Medusa planter. She's fantastic. I want to say it was $24 or $29.99. And then the heart vase. And then we've got this little cauldron vase planter situation thing. Um, that's very, I think it was $30. Very expensive because it is quite small. And then I did not show anything else really because it's things that we have already seen in my first code orange. But I am taking a closer look at these coffin uh, like boxes. They have a larger one and a smaller one. So the bigger one is $30 and the smaller one is $25. Okay, so we're going to another Michaels because I got really excited when this one had their stuff out. So I went to the one that's closer to my house and they had the things out. And are we seeing this? This is real life, guys. Four Bride of Frankenstein busts. Four of them. That's crazy. Again, it's just a little sprinkling of the collections, but you know. Taking a closer look just to make sure that I do not miss anything. Oh, that hand with the rose was cute. That was not at the first one, and apparently I just didn't see it in the store because I'm obsessed with this line. So $60 for this wreath. It's actually very pretty. Um, so, you know, get it with the coupon. I think it'd be a really good deal. And guys, are we kidding? Are you kidding me? Did you see that? That was exciting. We've got more signs. Taking a closer look at it because it's just really pretty. So it's $20. And then these are new. I did not see them at the other one. So we're going to unroll each of these really quickly. Let's go ahead and like fast forward through this. Okay. So it is a skull with like the different parts, you know, your frontal bone, your parietal bone, temporal bone, all that kind of stuff. So the other one is a skeleton. Very cool. Those were each $20. And I do not believe we saw these at the first Michaels. How precious are these? I love these little like apothecary jars with the vintagey looking labels. I'm a sucker for it. Okay, so this guy again. We 
are back home. What a trip. I mentioned I had a little story for y'all. Here is the story. So my mom and I were leaving the home goods in the plaza and out of the corner of my eye, they have like the pillars in front of the entryway and then there's a trash can. So we were, we left and we walked to the right. And as I was turning, I saw something in my peripheral vision down here. I was like, what is that? Something's moving down there. And I look, guys, it was a bat, a little bat. And it was basically in the way of foot traffic. And I was just terrified that this little guy was going to get stepped on because we all know that human beings are attached to their phones and not really paying attention to where they're going. I will insert the very few uh, photos and videos that I took because that was not my main priority. But he was so tiny and I was so worried that he was going to get stepped on. So in finding this little baby bat on the ground, okay, I immediately was like, I don't know what to do. And then just got on the phone with any sort of animal rescue or what's the word? Animal control that I could get a hold of. It was a Saturday, so I didn't know if these places were open. So I immediately got on the phone trying to find somebody. I'm being bounced around from this county to this county, blah, blah, blah. In the meantime, my mom and I gave the little guy some water. She ran to the car, got my water bottle, and oh my god. It was, I wish, this is where I wish I actually would have taken a photo because um, there are pavers in the walkway. So in the little cracks, we would kind of just put the water so it would roll to like wherever he was. It like broke my heart. When the bat realized that there was water on the ground, it literally like laid on it and you could see like his little nose just like dipping like in the water, like he was drinking. So I was like, my heart broke for this little thing because it was dehydrated. Yeah, it's freaking hot here, okay? It's freaking hot. And this little thing was like this big. Can you imagine? Like laying on this hot ass ground. Like the thing was probably frying. So he's slurping up the water. And you could tell he was kind of like getting his little strength back because he would try to fly away, but it just like wasn't enough. So we kept giving him water. And we watched over him for like an hour to make sure no one would step on him or anything of the sort. Finally got a hold of someone that was like, okay, we're going to send someone out, we'll call you. So they called me back and long story short, I did meet up with the um, people that the rescue sent out. They saw the bat and they were like, we got it from here. Obviously I did not touch it. I was very tempted to just scoop the little guy up and just put him somewhere else, but I did not want to go to the hospital that day. So I left it in the hands of the professionals and the little baby bat was collected and moved to a safer location. So, so that is my story while out Halloween decor hunting. I've been telling everyone I am bat obsessed this season, so apparently that is not just a thing, but it's like the thing this season. Bats really just are my thing. But I've never seen a bat up close, and this, this little fella was so cute adorable. So I am very happy that I was able to at least make him feel a little bit better and get him some help. Hopefully he is um, doing well to this day. So there's the story. That is going to wrap it up for today's Halloween decor hunting video. So we all saw a lot of goodies this week. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I would love to have you subscribe if you would like. This week, I hope to put out two Halloween decor hunting videos. Claws crossed. If everything goes well, there will be if not, just know that I did my best. <laughs> and until then, have